They say you going on dates with dudes, bro. Why the hell do you or anybody care who the hell I spend my time with? That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worried about who people spend their time with. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we got Dwight Howard coming out and addressing some of these allegations. I would like to highlight his video, and then after that, and I would like to highlight an alleged victim of Dwight Howard's from 2018. I don't know if you guys remember when Dwight Howard was facing backlash again in 2018 for pretty much the same thing that he's facing backlash for now. The only reason why I uploaded that DM with, with, with us was because the guy told me if I spoke, he would say that he thought that I was a woman or that I tried to catfish him as a woman. And I uploaded that DM to prove that I asked him because af this was after I found out about him with the with the transgender sex parties. I said, "Does your because he was the girl the, what what I seen what I seen I'm not even gonna speak on that allegedly 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 what I seen you out here living your best life." So I asked. I said, "You know, I DM him. I said, does your brother, your family know?' I didn't know how close he was with his family at that at that time. You know, I never we never talked about that." And I asked him, like, does your family know that you, like, date, you know, transgenders and, um, you know, gay men? You know, it was just something that I wanted to know, you know? Like, I feel like that's when you're getting to know somebody because it, that right there shows you that if you would ever be in a public relationship with them or if they would ever show you off or if they will ever take you serious or if you can take pictures with them. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to fill, fill him out, like, fill him how he felt. And his response was... I don't have an answer for you. That victim came out and spoke about his most recent situation. So I would like to also highlight his response to everything as well. So with that being said, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That really does help this YouTube channel continue to grow. Let's get into this clip of Dwight Howard addressing some of these allegations. Here's the video. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your damn business. That ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your fucking house. It's your house. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. No matter what they say, they can say anything. Who gives two shits? Y'all too damn nosy worried about what I'm doing in my bed. Hell, the people who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed. And what the hell I do in it. That ain't for everybody on the internet. That ain't for no blogs. That ain't for no websites. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. If you want to know what people doing in their bedroom and who they messing with and sleeping with, you are weird. You're the weird one. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard about that, Dwight? They said Dwight was in a oh, text message and a guy. Nigga, who cares? Who cares who I was text messaging? You just mad because I want text messaging. Yo, ugly. That's what it is. Worrying about the wrong stuff. Focus on you. Worrying about who in somebody's bed and what they doing in their own bedroom. It ain't your bed. You ain't gonna never get in my bed. So stop worrying about it. Worry about because I don't gotta deny it. I don't gotta talk about none of that crap. The shit didn't even happen. You worry about the wrong stuff. That's why it's called an accusation. Allegedly. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I worry about the wrong stuff. Okay, so that's what Dwight Howard had to say. He's pretty much just saying like, yo, people really shouldn't be caring about who I'm sleeping with and worried about my bedroom life. Stop worrying about all of the stuff that's being said about me. So that's what Dwight Howard had to say about these allegations that's being put out against him. So with that being said, I would like to highlight the victim from 2018 when Dwight Howard was facing backlash for you know, or some some stuff that I can't repeat on YouTube, but he was facing some backlash for that, doing the unthinkable with his alleged victim. And and this is what the alleged victim had to say about his most recent situation. So the alleged victim said, respectfully, I'll never speak on this situation again because it has nothing to do with me. 
I feel sympathy for the new victim and hope he receives justice. I believe every word. The only reason I decided to break my agreement and laugh publicly today is because after all these years and assumptions that I lied, after all these blogs tried to ruin my name and cover for an abuser, it finally comes out. He goes to parties and prays on younger men, which was originally why he threatened, forced, and tried to intimidate me into signing an NDA, which made me to speak out in 2018. It was never about his sexuality. Yet I got dragged for speaking on threats I received about unwarranted information I found out from Kitty, who was also harassing me in 2018. Come to find out, Kitty was in attendance at this very party in 2021 where the new victim was raped. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some crazy information there, man. That's what the alleged victim had to say about Dwight Howard's recent situation. I would like for you guys to get in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts about today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button because it really does help support my YouTube channel. And it helps the channel continue to grow. I really do appreciate that, guys. Don't forget to subscribe up as well if you're new to the channel. Comment down new sub if you're new to the channel. Catch you guys on the next video and we out guys. Peace.